Mental health is a vital concern for healthcare professionals. Most people know the signs and symptoms of physical illnesses, like a heart attack or stroke. But they may not be able to pinpoint the physical effects of anxiety, PTSD, or panic. Awareness campaigns are designed to help people understand these common signs and symptoms. More than 40 million Americans experience some form of mental illness every year. Knowing that they're not alone may invite people to seek treatment from a professional. Treatment is key to relief from symptoms and maintain a healthy, active life. Let me interject here, the big question is, you might want to know more about mental health and the types of treatment for mental health disorders. That is exactly what I am going to talk about. But before I begin, take a moment to click the subscribe button below so you will never miss any of my videos again. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. Mental health is important at every stage of life, from childhood and adolescence through adulthood. Over the course of your life, if you experience mental health problems, your thinking, mood, and behavior could be affected. Many factors contribute to mental health problems, including biological factors, such as genes or brain chemistry, life experiences, such as trauma or abuse, family history of mental health problems. Mental health problems are common but help is available. People with mental health problems can get better and many recover completely. Early warning signs. Not sure if you or someone you know is living with mental health problems? Experiencing one or more of the following feelings or behaviors can be an early warning sign of a problem, eating or sleeping too much or too little. Pulling away from people and usual activities. Having low or no energy. Feeling numb or like nothing matters. Having unexplained aches and pains. Feeling helpless or hopeless. Smoking, drinking, or using drugs more than usual. Feeling unusually confused, forgetful, on edge, angry, upset, worried, or scared. Yelling or fighting with family and friends. Experiencing severe mood swings that cause problems in relationships. Having persistent thoughts and memories you can't get out of your head. Hearing voices or believing things that are not true. Thinking of harming yourself or others. Inability to perform daily tasks like taking care of your kids or getting to work or school. Mental health and wellness. Positive mental health allows people to realize their full potential. Cope with the stresses of life. Work productively. Make meaningful contributions to their communities. Ways to maintain positive mental health include getting professional help if you need it, connecting with others, staying positive, getting physically active, helping others, getting enough sleep, developing coping skills, mental health treatment. Treatment for mental health disorders is not one size fits all, and it does not offer a cure. Instead, treatment aims to reduce symptoms, address underlying causes, and make the condition manageable. You and your doctor will work together to find a plan. It may be a combination of treatments because some people have better results with a multi-angle approach. Here are the most common mental health treatments, medications. The four main categories of medications used to treat mental health disorders are antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications, antipsychotic medications, and mood-stabilizing medications. Which type is best for you will depend on the symptoms you experience and other health issues you may face. People may try a few medications at different doses before finding something that's right for them. Psychotherapy. Talk therapy is an opportunity for you to talk with a mental health provider about your experiences, feelings, thoughts, and ideas. Therapists primarily act as a sounding board and neutral mediator, helping you learn coping techniques and strategies to manage symptoms. Hospital and residential treatment. Some people may need brief periods of intensive treatment at hospitals or residential treatment facilities. These programs allow an overnight stay for in-depth treatment. There are also daytime programs, where people can participate in shorter periods of treatment. 
lifestyle treatments and home remedies. Alternative treatments can be used in addition to mainstream treatments as a supplement. These steps won't eliminate mental health issues alone, but they can be helpful. They include sticking to your treatment plan as closely as possible, avoiding alcohol and drugs, and adopting a healthy lifestyle that incorporates foods that may be a benefit to your brain. This includes omega-3 fatty acids, a type of fish oil that occurs naturally in some high-fat fish. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more great videos.